chocolate the partner during our heartbreaks and the easy gifting option for your friend's birthday a quick life saver right comes in various varieties from rupees 20 to 1000 chocolates can turn from a sweet treat into a luxurious experience really quick but do the consumers know how it's made which plant will get chocolate cocoa some seeds The bean to bar journey is quite unknown to the masses and its origin is much older than the common people think. The cacao tree first originated in the Amazon basin 5000 years ago mainly in the modern areas of Ecuador, Peru and Colombia. It was first domesticated and grown as a crop by the Mayans, an ancient indigenous population of Central America. The Mayans praised chocolate as the drink of the gods and prepared a beverage called coactal, meaning bitter water. By the 15th century, the Aztecs used cacao beans as currency. By late 1500, Hernandez Cortes to cacao beans to Spain soon cacao mania spread across europe ancient societies considered cacao as sacred and so the people who cultivated such an elusive and luxurious crop should have been extremely wealthy and respected but they are actually the fallen king of the cacao kingdom icco forecast a 10% increase in world cacao production and a 25% increase in the cacao price in the next decade the total cacao production will be approximately 4.7 million tons in 2022 to 2023 here land plays a very important role we know that each hectare of land give rise to 0.3 to 0.4 ton of dried beans therefore we need 14.1 million hectares of land in total africa accounts for 70% of cacao production and to meet this demand it requires 9.8 million hectares of land but according to a report africa has around 6 million hectares of land for cacao plantation where will the rest of the land come from the answer is protected forest Tel Hagonet of Mighty Earth says around 40% of the country's cacao crop is grown illegally in the country's national parks and 230 supposedly protected government owned forest known as forest classy this has caused 14% of the deforestation and loss of biodiversity in Cote d'Ivoire but this is just the tip of the iceberg there are more bitter truths for you to taste for every single chocolate bar you have it cost 450 gallons of water yes you heard it right luckily rain water is used for irrigation but now we are running out of luck because the temperature of earth is increasing at an annual rate of 0.08 degrees celsius resulting in global warming This in turn has affected the rainfall and as a result some important cacao producing areas in West Africa are experiencing a further drying of the climate and decrease in annual rainfall by 30%. This trend of rapid deterioration of the climate is going to affect your favorite chocolates. But who cares right? Furthermore you will be shocked to find out that the livelihood of 2 million family farms depend on it the misery of chocolate farming just started these plants require utmost care and maintenance they are susceptible to a number of diseases and pests that affect the yield of pods from the trees some major diseases are witch's broom and black pod it causes a yield loss of about 40% per year the healthy plants are harvested by hand using machetes or knives 
to cut pods from the tree. But their work doesn't stop here. Every cacao fruit bears 30 to 40 pods each. These need to be fermented, dried, aged and stored which requires extensive labour work. The local farmers along with their family carry the sack of beans to the producer group cooperatives. These bags then travel through a series of screening techniques and middlemen eventually making its way for export to become your chocolate. Globally, chocolate is a $130 billion industry that relies on the key ingredient cacao and the product is universally loved. But it also comes with a largely hidden human cost. Studies report that cacao farmers in Ghana make $1 a day, while those in Cote d'Ivoire make around $0.78 a day, both significantly below the extreme poverty line. They earn only 6% of chocolate industry's total revenue. According to calculations made by the Cocoa Barometer in 2022, Income from cocoa should be at least $3,116 a metric ton for Ghana. Whereas, in reality, it amounts to $1,810. Volatility in cacao markets is affecting the farmers in Africa by losing almost 20% of their incomes and are prompting accusations that global chocolate makers are turning a blind eye to serious problems in the sector. In order to sustain their livelihood, they involve the children in the plantation areas. Estimates show that in Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana, 2.1 million children work in the cacao farms of their families. They are involved in hazardous tasks such as spraying pesticides, carrying heavy loads and opening cacao pods with sharp tools like machets. In Cote d'Ivoire, approximately one-third of school-age children living in cacao-producing households have never attended school. And the teachers often force the students who have enrolled to work on their own plantations to earn money. Thus, the children of Africa are doomed with a future of poverty, slavery and illiteracy. According to a famous proverb, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And there is indeed no lack of good intentions to eradicate child labour in cacao farming. The exploitation also extends to women. According to BBC, in spite of doing two-thirds of the harvesting and labour work, female cacao farmers are paid as little as 23 paise a day. Such extreme levels of exploitation is hidden and active in the dense areas of Africa. If we talk about Asia, particularly southern India, the conditions are far better. Cacao is purchased at a fair share. One of the farmers of Camco Chocolate Plantation informed us that they are provided a daily labour charge of 500 rupees. Moreover, the intercropping system of cacao with Erika nut ensures surplus of money that increases their standard of living than the farmers of African countries. After a series of requests and articles, Published by activists, the companies woke up from their sleep to introduce sustainable practices, standard price caps and fair outsourcing rules, which then made the headlines. The government of Ivory Coast and Ghana have accused Hershey to circumvent premiums stacked onto the price of cocoa futures. Trouble brewing, Mars and Hershey's accused of not paying fair bonus to cocoa farmers. Behind the curtains of sustainable measures are hidden lies and just papers containing ink and no emotions. The farmers are struck down while the chocolate companies milk out the blood of the farmers and sell those blood chocolates we consume. The current scenario of farmers need to be changed. But is there a hope for them? Yes. There is. The first step towards change has already begun with the formation of small farmer associations across Africa. They are individually trying to fight this deadly battle which is unknown to us. And why we don't know about it? Because the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he did not exist.